truth of the game is the aftermath. When I lose, we still wave our commander's flag. Riding with Wentz on the center, making the pass. Jahan Dotson, young rookie, making a splash. The burgundy and gold, that's what we about. Jonathan Allen knocking QBs to the ground. We die hard and nobody can shut us down. Cause this is the greatest show in town. Let's go. Go, 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 go. What's good, Watch the Commander fans? All right, let's get into this real quick. Looks like business icon, Lakers icon, Magic Johnson is reportedly joining the bid with Mitchell Re R uh, Rios, I mean, R Mitchell Rouse and Josh Harris. Woo, that was a tough one, guys. <laughs> anyway. Um, to me, I think this is a, a smart move by Josh Harris and Mitchell Rouse to bring in Magic Johnson. Um, Magic Johnson, um, you know, joining Josh Harris, who got the Philadelphia 76ers, the New Jersey Devils. Also, you know what I'm saying? Um, and as reported that this isn't the first time that Harris and Johnson have teamed up. The two did form a bidding group when the Denver Broncos was all up for sale also. So that's a good thing. Um, but the team was sold to the Walton um, Peanut family led by Walmart heir Rob Walton in August. Johnson is providing both money and exp uh, expertise to the commander's bid according to um, Sports Tickle. It's unclear how much capital jo um, Magic Johnson is putting in, but safe to say it's going to be enough. Where because you already got 11. Point, I think what 11.3 billion between um, between Mitchell Riles and Josh Harris. So say for instance, Magic Johnson bring in another 10. Another 10, that's 20. That'd be enough to buy the group. Um, buy the group. Also, have enough to probably get a new stadium or whatever the case might be. But, um, I mean, everybody knows Magic Johnson, man. You got to think. He has franchise movie theaters, Starbucks stores, f fast foods, and gyms. I mean, this dude has multiple things, and think of, just think about this. If we do get a new stadium or rebuild RFK Stadium, his knowledge of how he designing or putting all of these entities into the stadium is going to help a lot. Now, you we all know Harris is a um, managing partner with the 76ers and co-managing partner with the Devils. You know what I'm saying? So therefore. People was worried about how much time will he have devoted in the commanders. Well, looks like he'll probably be the, the main guy over the commanders. Now that he since he has partners with these other guys, it won't is it what is it what is not gonna be that bad for him. You know what I'm saying? It won't be that bad for him. But at the same time, it's going to be good for him to where he could just be able to focus on the commanders. Now, Mitchell Riles probably be a silent partner, just like Magic will be a silent partner. And I think they will go to Magic for, like, ideas and stuff like that, the way they do other, other things. And, um, now, like I said, Harris is worth $5.7 billion. Riles' network is 5.5. If you look at that, that's 11.2 11, 11 billion. You know what I'm saying? So, and then whatever's Magic Johnson is worth. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to look at that right now. Uh, see what Magic Johnson's net worth is. Magic Johnson's net worth. Magic Johnson's net worth. Magic Johnson's, Magic Johnson's net worth. Magic Johnson net worth is approximately sixty-two, um, six hundred and twenty million dollars. Okay, mm, that's not bad. 
Not bad at all. All right. And so it depends on what he's bringing into the mix. Could help them out a little bit more. Uh, the only... I mean, I don't see anything... Me, personally, I just don't see anything. Now, you know, there was a whole firestorm going on Saturday night on Twitter. You know, reportedly said that, hey, the deal is done. Um, Harris, you know, got the bid for $6 million. Hmm. Got the bid for $6 million. I mean, $6 billion. Um, There was reports that um, Daniel and Tanya Snyder was here last Friday for one day. Probably to meet with Harris. Some say, some going around on Twitter said that Snyder met with Bezos, which I know that's not true because Snyder doesn't like Bezos. So why would he meet with him? That's crazy. So um, also, I think that the deal, to me, I already think the deal is done between Harris and Snyder. They just wait, they just waited it out until. A process, approximately or either Friday or Monday, um, to air this, air everything out. So um, I've been told that Snyder and um, Mitchell Riles are close, fr close friends. You know, they, they Riles been knowing Snyder for a long, long, long time. So I mean, it, it's it's evident. I know. And then there's also rumors that some of the owners want Bezos, some of the owners want Harris. You know what I'm saying? So, um, who knows? I mean, me personally, I, my personal opinion, I, 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 I'm more from now that Magic in the fold. I'm more for this even more. I was, I actually had Harris as my number one guy when he entered over Bezos I did I wasn't comfortable with Bezos I just it's just something about him I, I'm not really liking you know I, I could be wrong but it's just my opinion you know what I'm saying he already got his hand with the NFL and Amazon you know on Thursday night football owning a team that's gonna be a little bit too much you know what I'm saying I already know that Bezos wants to see out of Seahawks that's that's his main thing. I lived in the Seattle era. I know how much he wants the he wants the um, Seattle Seahawks really, really bad. He's been wanting that team for the longest, and we all know that his headquarters, Amazon, is there in Seattle. Um, one of my good friends, she used to actually she used to work for him, work for on um, the the the, uh, the main building of um, Amazon down there. So I just I feel like. That's the direction that Jeff Bezos is going to turn his attention to. I think Harris and Riles is the ones going to be buying the commanders. I think the commanders is going to be in a good shape. Now you're going to have somebody like Magic Johnson that's going to be a minority figure over, you know, he'd probably be the first minority on part owner of a, a, French, um, a franchise, a football team. That's something because then you got to think. You bring in somebody that's already business um, equipped. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Magic Johnson, you know, he retired in 96. He joined a successful bidding group for, for the um, LA Dodgers in 21 and invested in the WNBA Spox and MSL, MSL um, Love, um, Love FC. So, addition, so, therefore, he's been a part. And we already know how successful the the LA Dodgers is. You know what I'm saying? The LA Dodgers are one of the best teams in baseball. They always in the position to go to the World Series every year or and definitely always in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a Braves fan, so therefore we have to deal with these guys all the time all the time. So therefore, so me personally, I liking this idea with um with Magic Johnson coming in, I think this is going to help even more solidify. I hope they, this deal gets done. I hope it gets done and over with. I'm tired of waiting and hearing all these news and reports and everything like that. But having Magic Johnson a part of this, I, it gives me. It get, I'm giving this an A plus, a A plus right now because now you want, you got sports business minds in different categories 
tackling this football team. And there's going to be a way that they can bring the Washington franchise back to Providence. So there you have it. Kudos to Magic Johnson. I'm looking forward to see once this deal get done, what's direction, how they're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, let's get it. Until then, guys, this your boy Live Y. I'm out.